Hi, I'm Stella. Oh, and I'm Teresa. And we are one half of War Paint. And War Paint is feeling American today, <laughs> I think. Even though we don't sound it. And even though I said Wharf Paint, <laughs> that's fine. You know the band, it's Wharf Paint. <laughs> Look it up, wharfpaint.com. <laughs> How's the tour been going for you? What's things been like since the record came out? So touring has been pretty good for us so far. We've been to a lot of places that we'd never been to before and a few that we have been to before a few times. And it's been relatively painless, I think. Yeah. And we're getting better as a band and getting better at being with each other as well and just doing this job, mm -hmm. this strange job that we have. Um, I've read that you're really anxious to make a new record and you have been attempting to write on the road. What is, how's that process been? Um, well, I think we are um, just starting to get ourselves set up to be able to just kind of pick up and write anywhere. Um, it's a different mentality than when you're at home and you have, you're at your rehearsal space and you can really sort of start putting your mind to something new. It's like just doing, trying to get things write quickly and put out ideas and not think about them too much and um, have it be a part of our everyday life. Um, I think that touring's a lot nicer when we can exercise that part of ourselves as well. Um, yeah, and it's nice to always be going for something new, mm -hmm. something different, keep it fresh. You have actually put out something new quite recently because you did a cover of Duran Duran's The Chauffeur, yeah. which is Duran Duran's one of my favorite bands, one of my favorite songs from them. Yeah. It's not an easy song to cover, but you guys did a great job. So how did that How did that whole um, situation of you being able to cover the song come to be, and what was it like recording it? Well, recording The Chauffeur was pretty homegrown. We did a lot of it in my living room and kitchen. Yeah. Um, everyone kind of just came over and put their part down on it. And it was a song that Emily especially was really keen on. And she'd always wanted to do a cover of it. So when this opportunity came up, Manimal Vinyl uh, gave us preference, basically, over that song. First dibs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, like you said, it is... Um, you're getting more comfortable on the road, getting more comfortable as a band. You put out two records so far. You're already thinking about your third. Yep. Um, any thoughts on sort of what that, what direction that record will take or how do you think that it will stand out and how will this recording process be different from what you've done before? It's kind of difficult to say how this next record that we haven't written or recorded yet yeah. will sound. I think there's <laughs> things that we know that we wouldn't want to do or we'd want to do differently, but we also are pretty adamant about not putting up too many limitations when it comes to being creative. And I think for us, the main thing is just to be more focused and keep going towards a goal that's, um, I don't know, a unanimous goal and finding out what that is and communicating with each other better. And I think the music that comes from that process is going to be really interesting. <laughs>